Well, I was asked a good question the other day, which I, I think is a, a good question for, for any application, especially in some scenarios, which is, when should I normalize my data set? So in this scenario, there was a, a massive table, and it received many records, not really on a daily basis. I guess it was just, it was kind of an average amount, a low amount, but it was becoming bigger and bigger. It was growing, and it was a denormalized table. And the individual was asking, well, when, when should we normalize it or should we normalize it, right? So um, this is a fair question because in some applications, not all, but in some applications, uh, it's not something that applies. So the real answer is, unfortunately, that it's, there's no set you should you know normalize it immediately or whatnot because, again, it did varies by the application. So... The first question to ask is, are the data being archived or migrated in any way? In this case, it wasn't. Okay, so there's there's definitely some arguments for normalizing it if it's not being archived or migrated anyway, because it is just becoming bigger and bigger. Uh, for instance, if the table, let's say we have a table where it's a it's a normal I'm sorry a denormalized table, and um, it's growing, but well, it's not growing. Let's say that it only has a month of data in it, and we archive everything beyond a month. Okay, well, then we could we could argue that it's not really that big of a problem because we may archive it to another server. And our archiving process might normalize the data in and of itself since we're archiving it, okay? Um, number two, the question to ask here would be, what is important for the application? So how is the application built? If you go to skip down to question number four, you know, how does the application read the data? For instance, we're, obviously it's inserting data, but how is it gonna read the data? Uh, or who is the end user that's going to read the data, and then how easily can this be migrated, right? The read process, that is. If we have to change how the read process works, it's going to be off of a combination of tables instead of one table. When we normalize it, how how easy is that going to be, right? And then, of course, consider the data turnaround on this, right? So, for instance, if I'm a user and I enter my data, and I'm expecting to get a result set after I enter my data to see that entry, that's a quick turnaround, right? And I put on the fifth question, you know, can you optimize for batches, right? Sometimes you can't, especially if the volume is super high. Now, and I think in this particular case, we're talking very low volume. If you're only getting, let's say, 100 inserts, it's not going to be very difficult to optimize for that, okay? Uh, the third question here is, how will if exist logic affect the current application's performance and reliability? Consider the fact that when you are going to normalize your data, of course, you're going to be eliminating a lot of duplicate data. Okay. As a case in point, um, if there is an identical trade for a symbol, let's say, well, no, not an identical trade. Let's say that we have a trading table and we have, you know, 10,000 trades on the, uh, the stock Apple. Well, the, one of the lookup tables is going to have Apple in it, and then we're just going to link it to an ID, right, so that we don't have duplicate data. There's no reason to have, you know, I ordered 10,000 shares of Apple. No, my trading table can just simply have the ID of the stock that I ordered. And that way we don't have to have Apple, 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 Apple. That's just ridiculous, right? Because a small int or a, uh, an integer is going to be a lot less uh, space consuming than, you know, let's say, um, well, with some symbols, you're looking at pretty big. So you'd have to do about a VARCAR 8 to VARCAR 10. Okay. So these are just some questions to consider when it comes to normalization. Uh, there is no right or wrong answer. It really varies by the application. But understanding your application, understanding your data turnaround, understanding what your users are doing with it is going to dictate what you want to do and whether you do want to, to normalize your data. Generally speaking, um, you will want to normalize it at some point. Uh, if you can truly get by with a denormalized data set, uh, especially because things may fluctuate a lot or because you may have a lot of nulls or whatnot, um, that's when I start to consider maybe SQL Server, maybe uh, SQL in general isn't really um, what I should be using here in this, these scenarios.